Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at AI video translation tools and we're going to try to look based on this one article I found about the seven best uh, apps out there, uh, some of the the websites that I found through this, which ones are, are really good, which ones aren't so great, um, how many of them you can actually use for free up to a certain point, how many of them are a little bit of smoke and mirrors around what's actually free, what's included, what's not. Um, see some of the pricing plans and, and see, do they do dubbing or do they actually use your voice and your mouth and manipulate that using AI to translate messages? Uh, a, a little bit of a spoiler, I did actually try one of these before and I have a couple of translations from HeyGen because somebody had turned me on to this a couple of months ago and I did a quick uh, test of that. So um, just to be right up front, I do have a couple of translations in uh, German, um, Arabic and Chinese in that. And today we're going to try uh, German and Turkish. So we'll see how that goes. So now we're going to go into Veed. So I tried Veed just a few minutes ago and Veed um, wasn't allowing me to upload um, on the plan that I had. So there's a, which is the free plan. So what I did is I recorded an 18 second video in here and then translated it into German. So we'll play that for you now. Hallo, ich heiße Tony und habe den YouTube Kanal The Linguist Life. Weil ich große Neugier an KI-Übersetzungssoftware habe, teste ich mehrere Tools auf ihre Funktionalität. Lasst uns wie testen und die Ergebnisse begutachten. Alright, so what we've seen from this video is that it does a really nice job of the translation. It's doing it in High German. High German from Germany uh, is different from my natural voice uh, when I speak German, which is Austrian German, uh, not quite true Viennese and not quite true Salzburg. I lived in Salzburg for six years. I've lived in Vienna for about uh, 10 years altogether. Um, so I, I speak a little bit of a hybrid, but definitely very Austrian. So Bavarian, Austro-German, uh, not high German. So the video that we just watched was very high German. Accurate, dubbed, not my voice. Um, so again, not exactly what I was going for. So what we're gonna do is we're going to move on now to HeyGen. And now HeyGen, I've had this project started now for a little bit, um, and I uploaded my English original 20 second video. It's been working for a few moments, and um, it's been working for six minutes uh, to do Turkish. And what I like here on the free plan is you get a certain amount of these um, to try up to three minutes in length, it's done. All right, I'm going to put this in my ear real quick um, and, and play just a few seconds and then I will download it and I'll put it into the video. So we have resolution of 720 for free, uh, 1080 uh, is cost for 4K is cost. But for this experiment, the 720 is just fine. The 23 second thing, download and away we go. Merhaba, benim adım Tony ve The Linguist Life adında bir YouTube kanalı yönetiyorum. Almanca ve İngilizceyi akıcı bir şekilde konuşuyorum. Ayrıca İspanyolca, İtalyanca ve Farsça'da biraz yeterliliğim var. Dilleri son derece ilginç buluyorum ve başkalarıyla onların dil deneyimleri hakkında konuşmayı seviyorum. Peki kaç dil konuşuyorsun? Kanalıma katılın ve bunun hakkında konuşalım. All right, so I sent this to my son and he responded really quickly. I said, "Can you listen and tell me if it sounds authentic in Turkish?" And he was like, "It does." wild and then i said any thoughts on accent grammar vocab link sync lip sync accuracy and he said sounds good honestly some of the inflections were a bit weird uh, where does the translation come from and i said hey jen and he said my turkish friend said it sounds really good so he said sent it really quickly to another friend and said oh oh so i said oh you shared it uh i'm doing a video on various tools right now and he responded super quick uh, he said about his friend. So that was that was kind of cool to hear. And then um, my other friend Lale uh, had a quick reaction. His mükemmel çok beğendim, which I believe 
turn, says it's something like perfect sounds really great. Uh, I'll put the exact translation up here in a second. So that was a quick uh, re response to how the Turkish sounded. Uh, and now I'm going to play for you uh, the Mandarin and the Arabic so you can see how that goes as well. ونغليوليدشودايوهاينجوبينغوي أجد اللغات مثيرة للاهتمام بشكل لا يصدق وأحب التحدث مع الآخرين عن تجاربهم اللغوية إذن كم عدد اللغات اللي يتكلثوا؟ انضم إلي في قناتي ودعنا نتحدث عن ذلك All right, so I really wanted to take a second and stop here I know I really bombed you guys with some hey jam because I found the tone, the use of my voice, the lip syncing to be just incredible, whether it was in the German one that I have, I, I, I listened to and watched, or the Chinese, the Turkish, the Arabic, and the feedback that I got from people on that, it was just really incredible. It's been kind of fun to do this almost in, in real time. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of post-production editing that went into this, but I was kind of recording and on WhatsApp talking to people and just got really good feedback on the HeyGen. So we're gonna leave HeyGen and now move on to some other tools. All right, so the next tool that we will try is Adobe Firefly because Adobe Firefly is down here and says, upload video, translate to a new language. Um, so let's go for it. Let's try that. Um, the premium feature requires a plan with minimum premium features. Explore what's possible with 40 seconds of complimentary. Try now. Okay, so, um, it says that you do have to pay for the upgrade to use this, but it does let you do 40 seconds. And since my uh, test video is just 20 seconds, I think this is going to work. Sample video. All right. Browse files. We're going to try one more time. English original. I agree. Ah, all right. So we're working now. All right, so it's finished. It took about a minute to a minute and a half. It says it's 20 seconds long. Um, source language is English, and we are going to, again, see, can we do... Hmm, they don't even have Turkish, but we can do the Chinese and the German this time. So let's start with the Chinese. Uh, generative credit costs. Um, that's fine, and... Again, it has the, the transcript here, which is nice because uh, HeyGen didn't have that automatic transcript. I didn't see it. I had used Cockatoo to, to get my transcript out of the English original. So that's kind of neat as a, as a feature. So let's, let's generate. All right, that's complete. And what we see is we now have a Mandarin transcript, um, which is really neat. Uh, translation provided by Microsoft Translator, just so we know who's actually working with Adobe on this product. So I'm going to do a real quick listen and then I'll try to download this so we can we can listen to it together. Hi, I'm Tony. I'm running a name called Linguist Life on YouTube channel. I can speak a little bit of English and English, and I can speak a little bit of Spanish, Italian, and Italian. I found that language is very interesting. I like to talk about their experience. So how many kinds of language do you say? Join my channel. Let's talk about it. All right, so the next tool here is A Cool, uh, has a free version. Let's take a look at that. So choose a video, drag and drop. It says that we, we have this free option. So here's my original again. We're going to plop that in. So it seems that when you upload a file but you haven't logged in yet, it doesn't actually upload it, so you go through the permission thing and then you have to go and upload that video again. So now a cool is analyzing the video. Let's see how long that takes. All right, it took about a minute and a half to upload. And now we're going to say create a translation. Uh, rather than auto detect, I'm just going to choose English as the source language. And uh, let's see if it has Turkish. It has Turkish. So now we're going to have a couple of variations in Turkish like we did in 
uh, Mandarin as well. So let's take the Turkish um, and go from there. Ah, it does offer a lip sync version. Uh, studio voice, basic, I don't want that. I still want the free, so we're gonna close that. Uh, this is a good look, you have a free basic, then there's Pro, which is 21 a month, Pro Max, and so on and so on, up to Enterprise. But again, we're focused on what you can do quickly with the free tools that are out there. All right, so we're gonna use the voice clone, which is my voice. Um, so it says voice clone will use the voices in the video to generate translated audio. So this is similar to HeyGen. So I'm gonna confirm that. So English to Turkish, voice clone. Um, we don't have to worry about auto detecting multiple uh, speakers, it's just me and lip sync. So screen's cut off a little bit, but I think that means start. And it's running. You can see down here in the bottom, we're at 0%, so let's see how long this takes. So it's done, took about four and a half minutes. We're gonna take a quick listen before I drop it into the video. Merhaba, benim adım Tony ve The Linguist Life adlı bir YouTube kanalı yürütüyorum. Almanca ve İngilizceyi akıcı konuşuyorum ve İspanyolca, İtalyanca ve Farsça'da da belli bir yeterliliğe sahibim. Dilleri son derece ilginç buluyorum ve başkalarıyla dil deneyimleri hakkında konuşmayı seviyorum. Peki kaç dil konuşuyorsunuz? Kanalıma katılın ve bunun hakkında konuşalım. All right, so Akul uh, did a successful translation and you just heard it. Uh, now, my feeling on this is that while it seems as if the transcript is almost exactly the same as with Hey Jen, um, the voice sounds more staticky, more artificial, um, almost a little hyper, but still effective, still quite intelligible and understandable as Turkish. Um, and useful. What I do like, I like the interface, I liked how simple um, everything was. Um, there's a credit system here in the free version. Um, you get a hundred credits as you can see uh, up here at the top and I did one translation and I used five credits. So that's telling me that I might be able to get up to 20 free translations. Now to be clear they are watermarked, okay? So if, if you want to distribute these, you know, you're gonna have watermarks in your thing. So uh, you, you saw that in, in the video clip as well. So, you know, that's, that's really cool. All right, so if we go back to the pricing page here, you can see again, um, basic Pro, Pro Max Studio Enterprise, free, uh, 21 a month, 79 a month, 350 a month, or let's talk. So with the free, we were still able to get a nice, uh, result. So uh, that's the summary for me from from Acool and I'm going to have a table here at the end with all the different tools. So just one more thing to talk about today and that is um, Vizard.ai. I made multiple attempts. I'm not going to try to go through it all uh, manually again because I recorded and I recorded and I recorded and I couldn't get there. I could not find an actual um, way to to translate the video. Um, it did a nice job of uploading and uh, transcribing, but I could not for the life of me find a way to do a free video translation. Uh, the pricing page um, does not give any indication of where this might be available. Um, all three plans do not mention it and it just it just makes it a hard stop for me because um, the goal again of this video is where can I find a free tool to do um, a really good AI video translation and we just didn't have that again some nice features in here but we're not going to go any further with this all right so to summarize I've gone through five products I've gone through HN, Veed, uh, Adobe Firefly, a cool and wizard.ai and there are two clear front runners in this comparison Heygen and a cool uh, get the most check marks um, a cool actually got four I've basically done a quality of the translation ease of use lip syncing with my voice and transcript um, so it's it's interesting that Heygen took the longest and also produced the best quality output with the best lip syncing 
um, and using my voice was really great. A Cool uh, did not use my voice, uh, but did do the lip syncing. So you get a little bit of a check uh, and, and X on that one. It's it's hard to to really decide where to put it there. Uh, Veed just wasn't wasn't very good. It couldn't do the lip syncing. Uh, it wasn't that easy to use. It did a nice transcript. Um, the sound of the quality of the German translation that we listened to was quite good. Grammatically, tone, the whole thing it was fine. So quality wise, it was there. Um, Adobe Firefly, uh, again, decent quality, but did not allow a lip sync with my voice in the free plan. Again, everything here is about the free plans that we are, we're looking at. Um, yeah, so the quality was so, so the ease of use was good. Um, and then uh, Vizard.ai, the last one, I, I, I got really frustrated with. Uh, I gave it one red check for ease of use and kind of a uh, everything else just question mark because I could not find it in there. There are Google searches that says click here for video translation and you go in, you can't find it. You look at the pricing plans, you can't find it. So I'm just going to forget that for now. Um, if I had to choose one, uh, even though a cool got all the check marks and Hagen did not just because I couldn't find out where, uh, the transcript might be available for Hagen in the free version. If you can find it, please drop me a comment below. Let me know where, um, but Hagen wins, um, hands down based on the quality of the sound of my own voice, um, and the lip syncing. So again, seven minutes to complete, excellent sound, my voice and lip syncing. Uh, a Cool took four and a half minutes. Um, it was also very good quality, but didn't have, you know, my voice. Um, so that's why it finished in second place. So there you have it. Uh, five different options for free AI based video translation. Try them all out. Let me know what you think and we'll see you next time. Bye now.